Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our Lee Sung Woo career mode. Um, same problem here actually happened with the uh, A bar or I bar career mode. Um, so we ended up losing some gameplay. I believe it was only one episode, if I remember correctly. I think we only missed one episode, but basically, what you guys missed was the start of our competitive career which was in um january january 6th being lee sung woo's birthday obviously we were allowed to start playing games barcelona was actually starting me in almost every game so that was good but i wasn't scoring i wasn't getting assists i wasn't comfortable in the squad yet i, I didn't feel like i was at the right skill level to actually play well so I went ahead and made a loan move on the transfer deadline day and that is where it brings us now to Aberdeen. Um, they, they had a deal come in. There were a few offers that I had on the table but this, se this seemed like the best one for me. So we decided to take our talents out to Aberdeen and just you know try to take this league by storm. You know, there the main reason I wanted to come here was I have some good easy football in Scotland but at the same time I'm still getting Euro League matches which is really important so I'm still playing in Europe and they're going to give me a starting position regardless of how the team's playing so uh, this is definitely what I wanted and our first game here is going to be against Motherwell in the Scottish Cup so we're going to go ahead and get into the swing of things just a few days after our transfer so really excited to get into everything for this series um, I've feel much more comfortable with this team than I did in Barcelona. Um, definitely going back, I am only on loan, it's not like I'm getting transferred. Um, Barcelona is still where I want to keep my career at for at least a decent amount of the career. So um, there's, there's, no, there's no plans on leaving Barcelona. Here it says that my transfer fee was eight million. I'm pretty sure that's just my estimated worth because I did only loan. I did not get transferred here. Um, that being said, they are paying me more to play here than they they were paying me in Barcelona. So that that's a bit weird. I didn't know that that was a possibility, but it's ha it, it happened. So we're playing here. Obviously, wages don't matter, but. You know, just just a little bit of random information there. Um, but coming into the squad, it is a 4-4-2 lineup, which is a bit odd to come into, especially after playing in that 4-3-3 in Barcelona. Um, so it's a bit odd, but I kind of like it. It allows me to play more of a, um, a sister role and a creative role, where Rooney, the striker next to me, is more focused on scoring. Not to say I won't be scoring goals, definitely still obviously my focus is a striker, but I, it still allows me to have some creativity in it as well. So um, coming into the game, the, like I said, I, I, more, I, was, I felt more comfortable in the team. In the first, I want to say 30 minutes, I felt like I had more opportunities to score in this team than I did in Barcelona. So. In this first game, or this first half of the first game against uh, this team in the Scottish Cup, I actually I, I had chances to score, like I said, but I couldn't take any of them. Mainly, you know, like I said, you know, fully still trying to adjust to how things are going in the team, what I'm comfortable with, what I'm not, how to play in this 4-4-2. So a little bit more of an adjusting period again, which is a little irritating that I have to keep adjusting. So I'm hoping, obviously, we can just get into the swing of things now with this team, play with them for, um, what, four months, four or five months, and then go back to Barcelona, and then hopefully we're a high enough rating where I'm actually comfortable in the squad. So the first half of this game is going to end in a nil-nil uh, draw as of now. So uh, coming into the second half, my you guys know me. I've been burning through my stamina, so... Um, I think I'm only going to get another 15 if so odd minutes uh, to actually um, get a goal for this game. So uh, we're, we're definitely pushing for it with everything we got. You guys saw that shot that I had on, on target and forced the keeper to make a save. 
um, and that that's honestly what was happening in Barcelona the, the the episode that you guys missed the games weren't really that entertaining to watch I had a couple opportunities here and there but they were just they were they were really good saves by the opposing keeper and I just was not able to score um, and like I said I was just giving the ball off to teammates a lot and letting them do the creativeness in the team um, had the opportunity to get an assist here, but my, my teammates were a little too tired and weren't able to uh, grab the goal. So in the 80th minute, I actually do come off. I didn't um, ask to be sub subbed off, but they ended up pulling me around the 80th minute. So I do like that the, the manager knows not to leave me in the team. So we ended up drawing with them in the cup, so we had to play them one more time in the Scottish Cup for a replay and we end up winning the game 2-0. Um, both the left mid and striker that played ended up scoring in that game. So coming into the first game of the uh, season, definitely wanted to make a good impression because th these are the games where my goals actually matter, where they want me to score a certain amount of goals per week and get it a certain amount of assists and make a certain amount of chances. So. Definitely wanted to make a good impression as soon as possible. So here in the 17th minute, we actually get an opportunity to work the ball into the box, put it on our left foot, and actually score a weak foot goal, which was a little surprising, to be honest, because in the training sessions, they've my weak foot has been really weak. Really, really weak. No pun intended. But um, we managed to get a goal, and it's our first career goal as a senior competitive player. So really exciting I you know I was pumped especially to have it early on in this game because it felt like I had the opportunity to be as creative as I wanted to in this game I feel more comfortable playing in the squad like I said before I kind of know where my teammates are going to be whereas in Barcelona nothing felt right so I'm I'm more confident against this def these defenders as well as you guys see I've, I've beaten 15 players off the uh, off of the dribble so uh, my stats are going to start going up pretty quick here. We're already 74 rated overall. Definitely want to try to get as close to 80 rated overall before I go back to Barcelona in the summer. So uh, that's where we're going to kind of aim for. It's going to be difficult to come up that much, but if we can keep playing well and then training well, it, I think it's definitely a possibility for us. My passing is still a little bit shaky. I think that's what I'm going to start focusing on in the training sessions is my finishing and my passing. Uh, those are going to be the two biggest ones that I'm going to focus on the most. Those I may play those two drills and then simulate the other three. Uh, I think that's kind of the format I want to do it in. Kind of play the ones that I'm most interested in ranking up and then just simulating the other ones because it does take a lot of time to do all five training sessions. It's just more convenient to simulate it, but I definitely want to still get the stats needed to progress the players. So, um, hopefully bar any more recording issues I'll obviously be showing you all the games in this uh, loan period with the team like I said I have zero interest in leaving Barcelona on a permanent basis so we will be rejoining them in the summer it's only a six month loan it's a short term loan rather so we will be going back um, and like I said, it will be for the start of next season, so it'll be exciting to get back into the squad, hopefully a little bit stronger than I was when I came in. So um, I do come out of the game in the 62nd minute, so only got the one goal there. We end up getting some more traits and um, attribute points for 10 matches completed. We have a training session here. Like I said, I've been just kind of simulating them. I want to get back into playing so that I actually start growing more. As you see, I got a D on El Rondo and assisted free kick, so definitely want to try to do a little bit better there. We're still in pretty good form. We're at a 75 rated overall. Like I said, if I can just play well in game, then I'll be able to rank up my attributes really quickly. So our first game of European football, other than friendlies, obviously, is going to be against Sevilla. So actually playing against a La Liga team here. But I managed to get my second goal, first goal in the Europa League, in the 25th minute, a rocket into the top left corner. Just a beautiful goal, and I was so happy with this goal because it, it just showed my strength. I ended up taking a shot, it got blocked, but then it fell back to me, and I actually took the shot left foot again, 
and manage to get a goal and we end up getting a penalty five minutes later I'm not the top penalty taker right now so I may need to increase those attribute points as well to try to get um, to the point where I'm actually the first team penalty taker at least for this squad obviously to get into that position for Barcelona is going to take a lot of time but it's definitely like I said in the last episode it's something I want to do I want to make sure that all my attributes can basically match Messi in a sense you know I want to be the Korean Messi with Lee Sung Woo so I want to make sure I'm on penalties free kicks everything so um Everything's been going pretty well. As you see, we're beating more players off the dribble, so our skill moves are starting to come up a little bit. Um, that is my main focus right now, in all honesty. Like, when I'm getting the ball, I want to make sure that I'm using skill moves. I'm dribbling as much as I can to try to get the ball away. Uh, now that I have scored my first two goals, uh, I will be changing my boots. I don't know if you guys saw them in the, in the highlights, but... They're like the basic black and white ones that, in my opinion, look like sandals. But here in the 65th minute, that is my last touch of the game, kicking the ball out of bounds. I will be coming off the pitch where we have a 2-0 lead at this point. And I'm going to show you guys what happens. We end up losing that game 4-2. So luckily we got two away goals, so that's good for the second leg. But we have to score at least two goals and not concede to a, a goal at all in the next game to actually move forward in the Europa League so it's going to be a challenge it should be fun in the next episode we actually end up playing Motherwell again in the first uh, first game of the episode and, or of next episode so that'll be enter entertaining again to play the team for the third time but if you guys did, did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and until the next one I'll see you guys later